Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is King Chef and uh, welcome back to the channel. So if you guys are familiar with this game at all or if you're going for Dark Matter Ultra, you guys uh, hopefully already know how terrible the launchers are. So uh, for me, uh, uh, I was lucky enough to uh, be able to do the launchers before Flakjack was buffed at Hardcore. So thank God for that. Although I did go back onto a friend's account and I got the three kill streaks on the Sigma for him, so I will have useful tips for that. But yeah, let's just get started with the uh, with the uh, class setup. Uh, all my personal tips for each camo for both the RPG and the Sigma. I will have a video on the M79 and the Combat Knife later this week or early next week. So if you guys don't want to miss that, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe so you do not miss any of my content. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So for the maps and the modes, I usually stuck to Hardcore Domination on only Satellite and Crossroads Strike. I found the most luck with these maps. Uh, usually if you just can't beat Flag, you'll be perfectly fine. But I'll get more into my strategies later. Um, but yeah, here's the class setup that I usually stuck to. We have the Sigma or the RPG if you're working on the RPG. We have Stun Grenade, Frag, and Assault Pack. I didn't usually use the Frag Grenades, but I did use the Stun Grenades to... Uh, to get kind of a feel of where people were on the map so I could kind of quote unquote lead my shot I don't know if that's even the right terminology for that but kind of just know when enemies were coming uh, assault pack obviously so that you can um, so that you can restock if you're going on a streak with it or if you need some extra rockets because flak jacket literally makes it so you have to get uh, hit people five times with the rocket doesn't make sense but that's why you would have run assault pack for our perks, I ran Flak Jacket just to be a hypocrite tracker to know where the enemies went to so that if I find myself behind them, I can just smack them in the back of the head and then go so I'm not detected by the UAVs so that enemies can't really figure out where I am unless they see me. Uh, and then for the wild card, I did use Danger Close. It gives you extra rockets in your stock, which I found extremely useful, especially for the beginning of the game. Or when you do not have assault pack and then usually just for the primary you want to run whatever weapon you feel comfortable with because uh, sometimes you'll be just stuck without any ammo on your Sigma and you need that ammo from the assault pack so you might want to pick up a couple kills with the XM4 or it's to preserve your streak and yeah that is just the main class setup that I stuck to although I use the Barret uh, for most of it you'll see it in the gameplay but that was just because I was working on the Gold Barret while I was doing the Sigma. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have for the class setups and the uh, modes and maps you should stick to. So a couple things I should mention before you actually start grinding the camos on this thing is you, uh, obviously your KD is going to drop a lot. Uh, when I was playing on a friend's account, of course he didn't care about his KD, but it dropped by about 0.13. It's a lot. Um... And yeah, once you find your SPMM lobby, just also keep in mind that you're going to have a good game, then a bad game, then a good game, then a bad game, so on and so forth. Uh, it's just how it works on the Sigma. You'll get into a bot lobby, you'll get a bunch of three kill streaks, go like triple positive, and then you will get into scump lobbies. That's just how SPMM works, unfortunately, in this game. But I thought I'd just mention that before. Do not give up hope during this grind. It is definitely worth it, and uh, yeah, let's get right into the camos. Alright, so getting right into the camos, I would suggest you level this thing up completely through zombies. It just, it's gonna make it so much more efficient to do all the camos, since a lot of these camos do actually go hand in hand, such as the aerial streak destroys, the ground streak destroys, and the three streak destroys in one game those all go hand in hand same with the double kills and your three kill streaks but of course feel free to do it your way if you want to do the camos as you go feel free this is just the way that i found the best so yeah let's get into the spray camo which is just going to be your normal kills not hard move on stripes is going to be your equipment score streaks and vehicle destroys this isn't hard either with either the RPG or the Sigma. You will get these as you go. And as you destroy both aerial and your ground streaks, you're going to get that camo naturally. So now we're on to the hard camo at least for the Sigma, which is your three kill streaks. 
So if you're using the class setup that I gave you, this shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, the streaks that I do suggest running are the UAV, the counter UAV, maybe armor, but that's really up to you. It's not necessary. And it might actually hurt you more than it helps you. Because when I was initially doing this, I ran just the UAV so I can know where the enemies were at almost all times. You get the UAV streak really easily from just normal kills and streak destroys. So those are the streaks you want to stick to. Trust me, it'll help a lot. So my tips for the Sigma is if Nuketown is still in the game, go ahead and run hardcore. Nuketown will be your best bet if it is still in the game. I would highly suggest rotating around the same building, spawn building, enemies spawn building, doesn't really matter. Uh, just make sure you're rotating through the house so that they can't really pinpoint your location. This was the best way that I got this done. Also, an additional note is if you run out of rockets, either use the gun that you are comfortable with to preserve the streak if you're on a two streak per se, or just camp in a corner. Hopefully somebody runs by so you can smack them in the back of the head. I found a lot of luck doing that. That made it go so much faster. And yes, smacking people in the back of the head with the launcher itself does count towards both your double kills and your three kill streak. So just keep that in mind. Also, another note, if Nuketown is not available, Satellite and Crossroad Strike are going to be your next two best maps. So, on Crossroad Strike, you're going to want to camp the Catwalk and maintain an eyesight on B-Flag just in case that there are enemies there. Typically, you can get a double kill if they're not running Flak Jacket on B-Flag. And hopefully, for your guys' sake, they fix Flak Jacket. I personally don't believe if it's a direct impact that they should be able to survive it, and I don't think they should survive four rockets to their feet. That's just a personal belief, though. I don't work at Treyarch. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, to the RPG, six of the same maps in the strategy, and the RPG has a bigger blast radius, so I do suggest doing the RPG after you do the Sigma. It is so much easier. You'll realize how much better the RPG is, and you'll be grateful that you did the Sigma first. Believe me. Alright, so now on to the streak based camos. These are going to be your geometric, flora, and science camos. Uh, these are not very hard except for maybe the aerial streaks on the RPG, but I will get to that in just a moment. So, geometric is going to be your ground based vehicles and score streaks. For that, I suggest going to Dirty Bomb, floating in the sky with your RPG or Sigma. If you have an RPG, go ahead and Wait till you see a red vehicle on the map, then drop down pretty close to them, and then fire as you're still falling. This is probably the best way to do this one. And then for the Sigma, you can literally just float in the sky for as long as you need to. Again, wait for that red vehicle to pop up on the minimap, find it, and then literally lock on from the heavens and shoot the rocket, GG the person, or the vehicle. You do have a two to three second window after they get off for the rocket to hit and you will still get the medal for destroying the vehicle, um, which is actually really useful. I do appreciate that they made that window. And uh, yeah, that is the geometric camo flora. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this for the Sigma. Literally just shoot stuff out of the sky. UAVs are always up in hardcore. That's very straightforward. But for the RPG, Hardpoint is where you'll find the most care package and attack helicopters. If your teammates are also in the lobby trying to take out those streaks, make sure you are the last one to hit the streak unless if it's a care package. The care package will go down in one rocket and the attack helicopter takes anywhere from 3 to 4. So either be the 3rd or the 4th rocket to hit the attack chopper and that one will be yours. As far as I know, assists do not count. They never counted for me. I don't know if they're going to change that or not, but you will see the metal pop if you get an assist, but you will not actually get credit towards the camo. Another tip for the RPG is you can go to hardcore, of course, for the UAVs, but they are not easy to take out. You kind of have to learn the velocity of the rocket, and if you're not too familiar with how are the RPG works, this might not be the way to do it for you, but I did get diamond both times. Yes, I said both times because I had to do this challenge twice on the RPG. Both times I unlocked diamond on the RPG. I took out a UAV. It's not impossible. It'll take you a bunch of rockets to get used to it, but it is possible. Do not go for CUAVs because those take two RPGs and the chances of you hitting it once are pretty slim. So 
don't even shoot at counter UAVs. And then for science, three kill streaks slash vehicles in one game. This is gonna happen naturally as you progress through both the aerial and the ground-based vehicles or score streaks. So do not worry about it. This one will complete itself as you do the other challenges. Alright, so last but not least, we have the Psychedelic or the Double Kills camo, which can be tricky on the Sigma and the RPG, since these do have long reload times. RPG, not so much. You, It's still possible to get double kills, one rocket, one kill, as well as a Sigma, but it's definitely not viable because you have to be firing off that second rocket pretty quickly, and you have to hope that it's a, uh, a one-shot kill. So, two kills with one rocket is going to be your best bet. So for this, I suggest camping on the catwalk for Crossroads Strike or Nuketown, of course, if that's still in the game. People like to camp bottom of the buildings. Just fire off a rocket in there. Hope you get a double kill doing that. Or if you can peek into their spawn, do that as well. And uh, yeah, good luck because everybody runs Flak Jacket. And then for the RPG, it is definitely possible to get one kill with the single rocket twice. You don't have to do it as fast as the Sigma, but... It is still pretty tricky to do so. Two kills with one rocket, again, is ideal, but it does take a little bit of luck. So if you have your stuns, go ahead and throw a stun in the building. If you see two little point credit things that pop up as stunned enemy, go ahead and fire rocket in there and you should be good to go. But yeah, with that said, that is going to be all of your camo challenges for the rockets. Hopefully you guys do get it. Although I might suggest waiting till a possible fix with season one. Although I will not guarantee a possible fix. That's why I said possible. Um, but yeah, I don't guarantee a fix. I'm not Treyarch again. Um, they very well could have intended it to be four rockets. Four or five rockets per person with black jacket on. Which I don't see how that would be a thing. But if it is that way, Godspeed brother. Because it is difficult, trust me. But yeah, with all that said, if any of my tips in this video did help you out, I would much appreciate a subscription and a like on the video. Comment down below if you got it done or if you're waiting. Um, or if you have it already done, if you were a big brand like me and did it uh, within the first week of the game where Flak Jacket literally just didn't work. But yeah, with all that said, enjoy the new outro song and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.